the bar making eyes like we're taking last, but still it never really gonna go too far cause here I this video is brought to you by Production Crate, a one-stop shop for fantastic original visual effects and media elements, including pre-keyed magic powers, explosions, buttons and icons, and much more. You can also subscribe to their YouTube channel for lots of awesome effects, tutorials, and updates. Hey you guys, it's Premier Gal here, and welcome to my YouTube channel where I give you tons of tips and tricks to make you a better video creator. Right now, I'm in front of a green screen that I got from Amazon about a year ago. Got it for around 70, 80, 100 bucks, something like that. And then these softbox lights, I have these for about, I don't know, like six years. I've used them a ton. I think I got three of them for like 50 bucks. So I'll link to them in the description box below. And I also have an LED light here as well, which I'll link to. I'm also recording this on a Canon M3. Um, and I have a wider angle shot here um, on the XF100, which I also got five years ago. So let's go ahead and cue the music and we're gonna start dancing in front of the green screen. All right, so now that we are done goofing off and dancing in front of the camera, I'm gonna show you how to take that video and turn us into a silhouette with any background inside of Premiere Pro. Let's go. So here in Premiere Pro, I have the clip of me dancing in front of the green screen. I'm not sure what type of dance move I was trying to do, but I would love to see any memes that you guys create with this. I've included a link to download this clip in my description box so you can follow along. First, let's remove the green screen. Search for the ultra key effect under effects and drop it onto the video clip. Now under effects controls, use the ultra key dropper tool to select the green background to remove it. And you can see that here the result is not perfect. So let's change the output mode to alpha. Here the black color means that the color is completely removed and transparent. And the white color means that it's not being affected. And the gray means translucent, which we do not want. So we need to remove the gray using the matte generation tools. So let's reduce the highlights down to zero, and let's also reduce the shadows until we remove the gray areas. You may also need to increase the pedestal to push out any other translucent areas. Now let's bring it back to composite mode and you can see that there's still some green around my body outline. So we can reduce this bit using the choke. Let's change it to 20. And you can see that if I try to increase it any more, you can see it takes too much out of my body, which we don't want. Since we'll be turning myself into a black silhouette, there's really no need to spend more time to remove all of the green spill that's still around my body. So let's just go ahead and move this video up to video layer two, and we can now place a color mat or any image beneath it as the backdrop. Here in my project panel, I created a bunch of color mats already. If you want to make a new color mat, let's just go to new item and select color mat. And then you can choose the color you want and you can give it a name. I'll call it purple. Now drag and drop this color mat onto video layer one. And now we can see that there is purple instead of black, but there's still more work to do. So let's select video layer two and let's scale it up a bit using the effects controls until we no longer see that gravel where my feet are. Now we need to crop that unwanted area on the sides of the green screen. So let's go up to effects and search for crop. Now let's drop it onto video layer two and then under effects controls, hover over the left number and increase the percentage until we don't see that unwanted background on the left. And let's do the same to the right. Cool. And now the last step, we need to add the black tint. So go to effects and search for tint. Now here in the effects controls, we want to tell it to map all the white areas to black. So click on that white square and let's change it to black. And boom, there is our dancing silhouette. And if you want to add even more fun tricks, you can duplicate video layer two by holding alt option and dragging it up to video layer three and letting go. Then use the position controls to move this second silhouette to a new position. Next, you can go to effects and search for horizontal flip and drop it onto the video layer three. And this will flip the image horizontally. Then you can make some further position adjustments until both layers are in the place that we want. And it looks pretty cool. 
If you want to add any more effects, you can also add some cool overlays from Production Crate to give it a retro feel. Here I downloaded this VHS effect overlay so I can place it onto video layer 4 and I can scale it up a bit using the effects controls and also reduce the opacity to 80. So now we have a silhouette with a retro feel. So that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. And if this video helped you out or inspired you, be sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget to head on down to my description box to enter my monthly giveaway. Each month I give away a new video software, product, or effects package. Thanks again, you guys. Stay creative and I'll see you all very soon. What is that, Dab? <laughs> <laughs>